Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full 20 box case break of 2020 Prism Football Blaster Edition. And if you bought at least two teams, you got a chance at the Chargers right here. And no vet common ship in this break as well, but you gotta buy at least two teams. Ooh, nice Michael. Oh. Michael said, got the Herbert RPAs that I pulled in for the other day. Sell nicely, yep. Going for over 30, yeah, it's pretty nice. Congrats again. All right, let's green that up, right? So, so that's the spot we need to give away. So let's sort by column A by your first names right here. And again, if you bought at least two teams like Alec did, you get an entry. Brandon bought two, that's an entry. Christopher bought two, that's an entry. Christopher E bought two, that's an entry. EA bought two, that's an entry. EU bought two, that's an entry. Yens, no, EV and Yens did not, sorry. John, entry. Joseph did not. Karen did not. Kevin did get two spots. That's an entry. Mark did not. Matt did, though. Matthew Shira did as well. And so did Nick Stover. Oh, Nick Stover actually bought six teams. That's three entries. There you go. One, two, and three. And that's it. So Nick, Matthew, Matt, Kevin. No Karen, no Joseph. John Bender. No Yens, no EV, EU, EA, Chris, Christopher, Brandon, Alec. Okay, just want to spot check, make sure I did, did that correctly. So let's gather everyone's names here into a new list. Some new dice. Name on top gets the uh, gets the Chargers in this blaster case after five times. Good luck. One and a four. And good luck, fifth and final time. Name on top is Brandon, Brandon K. After five times, you get the Chargers. There you go, now I can re-alphabetize by team. Let's print, let's rip. There's a row of five right here. Another five right there. There's another five right there. And another five right there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And you can see all the boxes on the top camera as well. Actually slide these over just a tiny bit. And here is the final printout, hot off the presses. It's official. So thanks for spending a bit of your Saturday with us, folks. I appreciate that. Nice. And good luck. I think we're going to open up five boxes at a time here. Utah Jazz at they're here in LA but I think both teams are kind of banged up today so it's almost like there's like it's like a G League squad maybe not not quite G League Andre Drummond Kyle Kuzma are still out there but KCP but I'm missing some of the bigger stars
right. So the NFL draft is is getting pretty close. What does everyone think? What's going to happen? Do you think there're going to be any surprises? Are we going to see Are we going to see four quarterbacks go in a row? So I guess Trevor Lawrence is probably going to go first overall. That seems to be the national consensus. Unless the Jaguars do something crazy. I think he, Trevor Lawrence had some comments that there was that football wasn't like, I don't know. Some people are concerned about his comments. That there's more to life than football, which there is, but uh, is, that what, is that what you want to hear from someone you're going to invest a bunch of money into? Some people have argued, hey, Andrew Luck said kind of similar things, and now he's out of football. I don't think the Jaguars should be that worried. They'll take Trevor Lawrence. Hopefully, they'll protect him with a uh, with a decent offensive line. Get that franchise back on track. So, second overall. Zach Wilson, is that the right choice for, for the Jets? Zach Wilson, quarterback out of BYU. Or should the New York Jets take Justin Fields? And then the Niners have the third pick. They're most likely going to take a quarterback. So that's that should be three quarter unless there are some major surprises. That should be three quarterbacks in a row. And then at fourth, the Atlanta Falcons. Are they going to take a quarterback? Maybe they need a quarterback to kind of marinate behind the last seasons of uh, Matt Ryan's career. Let's see if they can. They can draft a quarterback of the future here in 2021. All right, first five boxes, Prism Blaster. There's Tyler Higbee. Those orange velocity parallels that are exclusive to this set. Jonathan Taylor. Four. Christopher. And the Colts. Silver Saquon Barkley. It'll be uh, it'll be good for the hobby if Saquon Barkley can come back healthy. No, Sam Darnold got traded. He's in uh, he's in Carolina now, TJ. There's Derek Carr. There's Antonio Gibson. Darrell Taylor, rookie for the Seahawks. That's gonna be for Kevin. Alvin Kamara, Terrell Lewis, rookie orange. That's for the Rams, that'll be for Nick Stover. Silver Josh Norman, Jalen Hurts, Kenny Moore. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like it kind of went under the radar for me too, like Sam Darnold going to the Carolina Panthers. No, I feel like no one's really, no one's really talking about it. It's Trayvon Diggs. I think so much of the of the NFL Network and 
ESPN's NFL coverage, they're just talking about who, like, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields and Mac Jones and all that sort of stuff. But so that kind of went under the radar. Well, which means now Carolina also has Jeff Okuda for the Lions. That means Carolina has Teddy Bridgewater to move, so he may be traded on draft day. It's possible. Because I'm sure Bridgewater wants to be, I'm sure he wants to think of himself as a starter and could start for a lot of teams. Uh, there's Michael Ojumedia for Denver. That's going to be for Jens. And hey, speaking of Sam Darnold, there you go. And we've got a Jalen Hurts relic. Nice one for the Eagles. Christopher. Christopher F. with the Fly Eagles Fly. Yeah, you could put all your Darnolds on eBay. Camera, what's going on, camera? You okay? It's a little weird. I, I think Sam, Sam, that... That Carolina team is not bad. There's Jordan Brooks. They've got some weapons on that team. There's Anthony McFarlane, Silver for the Steelers, Eric Yu. So that might be one of the be the better offenses that that Sam Darnold has been on in a long time. There's Jordan Brooks for Seattle. So we'll see how he looks. I think I'm I'm intrigued. There's A.J. Terrell, rookie, no fan. There you go, that'll be for John. There's Jawan Jennings, rookie orange. And Joe Thomas for the Browns. Josh DeGuara. Portland Sutton Orange and Aaron Donald Orange. Apparently, more in the Aaron Donald case. I guess Aaron Donald didn't. Well, Aaron Donald saying, <laughs> Aaron Donald saying he was trying to help the guy. But then the 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 the, the other guy is saying no. Don Aaron Donald attacked me. Fun to see how that how that how that works out. All right, next five boxes. Good luck. We have not seen Herbert, not seen two or anything like that, or Burrow. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, Lakers up by ten. With a minute left in the third. I'll take that. That packs in that chamber right there. Oh, nice move by Schroeder. said this before I'll say it again I feel like I feel like Carolina and maybe the Washington football team could make a uh, could make a deal together somehow I think Teddy Bridgewater on on the Washington football team could be really interesting they've already got a pretty good defense they've got some weapons on that offense you know and He's their quarterback, and they can. And if they have a good draft, that could be an interesting, uh, interesting team led by Teddy Bridgewater. And it's not like the NFC East is particularly terrifying, right? I mean, they they won it last year, the division.
The X line. What is going on, Josh? How are you? I'm doing all right. Just, just doing some group breaks. Just hanging out, chilling on a Saturday. Watching some Jazz Lakers basketball. Probably watch a little more baseball later tonight. Open up some more stuff. Hopefully, pull some nice things for people. The huge. Having in football, Julian Edelman kind of was re is retired now. Yeah, after 12 years, he was cut after failing a physical, and and is now and he's now said that he's he's gonna he's gonna retire. So how long before Edelman takes a year off and then makes a Gronk style comeback? Probably goes to the Buccaneers and probably helps them win another Super Bowl. I think Brady recently has been winning in even year seasons. Winning Super Bowls in even year seasons. So this year, no. And then next year, they'll add a refreshed Julian Edelman and he'll lead them to another Super Bowl win in the 2022 season. Next five boxes here in this blaster break. Good luck. And there's our first Justin Herbert. Just a base card here, but still nice for Brandon K. And the Chargers. He won the Chargers. So thanks for grabbing those two teams. It's Josh Kelly, his teammate. Preston Williams Silver. There's Chase Young Orange and a Tua. So the Tua Tungavailoa base goes to Matt Lieber. Got the Dolphins. And the Chase Young is pretty nice, EA. a great last season and he can still improve I want to say which is kind of scary to think about there's Derek Brown for Carolina that'll be for Alec that's the best picture they got of Derek Brown by the way he's a defensive tackle and you have him that's the picture they use him running a 40 We got Laramie Tunsil, Preston Williams, Isaiah Simmons, Ross Blacklock, Brian Bosworth Silver, nice, that'll shit. That'll be for the Texans. That'll be for Eric V. Clavon Chasen. For the Jags, that'll be for Nick Stober. Antoine Winfield Jr. goes to the Buccaneers. We've got a blue parallel right here. It's not numbered. 
nice, nice little color match going on here. Jelani Tavai, Lions, J.K. Dobbins as well. Nick Stover with the Ravens. And Kevin Smith with the Detroit Lions. Jalen Ramsey, Jalen Johnson, rookie, orange, Landon Collins, Ben Roethlisberger, A.J. Dillon, orange, and C.D. Lamb, orange. Nice. Christopher with the Cowboys with that one. Packers, Matthew Shearer gets the A.J. Dillon, and the Jalen Johnson for Nick Stober and the Bears. All right, first half of the case in the books. Let's get in on the second half. here in this in the world Cleveland Browns release defensive tackle Sheldon Richardson to save a million uh, a million <laughs> 11 million try to combine those two words together 11 million dollars versus salary cap All right after getting Jadavion Clowney that makes sense we got uh, Bears signing wide receiver Marquise Goodwin to a one-year deal some weapons for uh, weapons for Andy Dalton. Wait, are the Bears gonna where are the where's the Bears pick? I guess it's kinda kinda far down there, huh? Oh they're they're in the twentieth spot. I guess Walter Football if you're familiar with them has Mac Jones falling to the Bears at 20. But, he, but Walter's also speculating the Bears may even trade up for a quarterback. If they were willing to move so many assets for Russell Wilson, which, they, which Seattle declined, I mean, why not try to... Why not try to roll with a, uh, maybe try to use a similar type package to move up and get a quarterback? Unless maybe they're thinking we can add other pieces in this draft. And then look for a quarterback next year. Eric Jennings thinking Niners were big on Jones at the third pick on Mac Jones. Interesting. So it's either... So everyone seems to be thinking it's Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson, one and two. So then the, then the debate now is who's the next quarterback off the board? Is it Jones or is it Justin Fields? I would like to see more quarterbacks drafted in the top rounds. That would be hashtag good for the hobby.
I think in previous drafts, we've been pretty lucky to have a string of, of years where there have been quarterbacks taken in the top half of the draft, top 10, top five, top picks in a lot of years. Fields may be the fifth quarterback drafted after Lance. After Tra Trey Lance, I think? It's interesting. It's exciting, though. There's Jalen Hurts. Eagles are set. All right, Christopher F., a QB. Some people thinking that maybe Jalen Hurts needs a little more marinating. I mean, that's why Joe Flacco's there, but if he, if he can turn out to be a pretty good QB, that'll be, it'll be fun to watch. Some Tom Brady for the Bucks. Brandon Ayuk for the Niners. Brandon Ayuk may have may have Mac Jones throwing him the football. The Ayuk goes to the Niners, Matthew Shira, and the Brady will go to uh, Matt Lieber and the Buccaneers. And we got a T Higgins relic. Relic, yes. T. Higgins going to Joseph and the Cincinnati Bengals. We got Jake from Jake from State Farm. We got Super Bowl champ Tyler Johnson, rookie silver for Matt and the Buccaneers. Jake from State Farm going to Mark and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Kyle Duggar. Rookie Orange for New England. That'll it's gonna go out to Karen. And we got a Justin Jefferson, nice. Rookie relic. For Nick Stober and the Minnesota Vikings. What are the Patriots doing? I feel like the Patriots don't they want a quarterback? Or are they really going to roll with? Are they really confident in? Uh, I don't even know where they're picking. Oh, 15th. Are they confident with Cam Newton? I feel like that's still a short-term solution situation. Maybe they have a quarterback in mind. There's Xavier McKinney. Oh, there's Cam. We were just talking about him. His ears were burning. There's Daryl Taylor for the Seahawks. Silver, rookie silver for Seattle. That's going to be for Kevin. And the Xavier McKinney's for the New York Football Giants. That's for Brandon K. And a Joe Burrow, Orange Velocity, nice. That is for for Joseph and the Cincinnati Bengals. Nice. Now Chicago, I would love to do that break. I would love to do that 40 box clearly authentic and archives break a two case break 40 autographs an auto a box and we got Clyde Edwards Elaire rookie gear Eric Yu with KC and just a, another friendly reminder everyone we're there is a top loader shortage, global top loader shortage around the world, and so we've been having to use larger top loaders. Now we're putting blue painter's tape on there so they don't rattle around during shipping, but in case you take it off or in case it's not there, just be careful. 
or they might slide out on you. And the Jordan Love Silver, is this the QB of the future for the Green Bay Packers? Matthew Shira. There's Kenneth Murray. Another rookie orange for the Bolts, Brandon. Greg Zerline, there's Mahomes, T. Higgins. The Mahomes will go to KC, that'll be for Eric. Kirk Cousins Silver, Juju Smith Schuster, Yetter Gross Matos for Carolina. Carson Wentz looking to revive his career in Indianapolis. And the final five boxes coming up in this break. Thanks, everybody, for joining us and spending a bit of your Saturday with us. I appreciate that. Lakers up six. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. Final five boxes coming up. All right. Oh, I think uh, I think win totals came out recently, officially from Las Vegas. Let's see what we got. AFC East: Buffalo Bills over under ten and a half wins. Ooh. <laughs> Over. Are they 11 win team? Over. Dolphins, nine wins. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a, that's a good line, too. Uh, oh, over? 10 wins, maybe? Patriots, nine wins. Under. Is that Jesse saying under? I say under two, I think. I think they're an eight and eight. Or, well, I guess there's 17 games this year, right? Oh, that that's going to mess me up on win totals, you guys. You don't, you don't I mean, pay, oh, oh. All right, so over for the Bills, 10 and a half wins in a 17-game season. Dolphins over in a 17-game season. Patriots might land right on nine in a 17-game season. But I'll still maybe lean under. Jets over under six. That's a good line, too. I feel like that's going to hit right on six. New quarterback, I'll say under. Ravens, 11 wins. Under. Bengals, over, 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 under six and a half. I don't know. It depends on Joe Burrow, so I'll pass on that. If he's available week one, then maybe over. Cleveland Browns in a 17 game season. Win total 10, over, over. Steelers at nine. I don't know about this, maybe we'll I'll see how that draft goes. Texans at five, under. Colts at 10, I think Colts land right at 10. Jaguars, six, under. 
Titans, nine and a half over. Broncos, seven and a half. I'm a Raiders fan. Under <laughs> Kansas City, 12. It's, yeah, 12 sounds about right. Maybe that's a push. Raiders, total eight over in the 17 game season. Chargers, nine. I'd probably go over there too, right? Am I saying that there's going to be two double digit, three double digit winning teams in the AFC West? I think so. Cowboys, nine and a half under. Giants, seven. Saquon Barkley healthy over. Eagles, seven over. Washington football team, maybe over. <laughs> Eric Jennings, Boo Raiders. Uh, man, I'm like you. Bears, seven and a half, under. Lions, five. Oh, they got Jared got uh, but what are they, who's he who's he throwing to? Mm, I don't know who Jared Goff is gonna be throwing to, so let's say uh, they might win six games. Let's say over. Packers eleven under. Vikings eight and a half over. Falcons seven. I'll give them over. I like the Falcons for some reason. Panthers seven and a half over. Saints nine and a half under. I think they win like nine games. Maybe nah. Well, it's a seventeen game season. That's gonna jam me up. So I say. Yeah, I guess all they have is Hawkinson on the on the lines. I'll say over for the Saints. Buccaneers eleven and a half. Gosh, yeah, I'll say over on that. Cardinals eight over. Rams ten and a half over. Niners ten. Uh, I think they land right at ten. Seahawks ten, maybe it, maybe under. All right, seventeen game season is gonna be weird. There's another Joe Burrow. And there's Antonio Gibson as well. So EA with the Washington football team gets the Antonio Gibson relic. Base Joe Burrow for Joseph to go along with that orange one from earlier. Got Eno Benjamin rookie, orange rookie. That was your second one. The first one was an orange Joe Burrow. I'll show you that in a second after when I do a quick recap. So the Eno Benjamin Cardinals for Brandon. Marlon Davidson rookie silver for the Falcons. That'll be for John. Oh yeah, the orange shooter. Wait, wait for it. I'm almost done. The orange orange Burrow was pretty nice. Color match. The velocity pattern in the background, which I really like. Patrick Queen for the Ravens. That'll be for Nick Stover. There's Jared Goff. We we're just talking about him. C.D. Lamb orange. And at Ronald Jones Silver, that's TJ's dad. Ronald Jones. It's Jordan Love, DJ Chark, Anthony Gordon, Orange, Derek Carr. And the other half here, Christian Kirk, Orange. Gabriel Davis, orange rookie. DJ Chart Silver. Gabriel Davis goes to Mark Miller and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Got Josh Uchi for the Patriots for Karen. <laughs> There's Tom Jones with. His pops, Ronald Jones. Uh, that kind of gets me every time for some reason. Cam Akers, Rams, Nick Stover. Cam Akers, Relic. Aaron Rodgers. Derek Brown, Darrington Evans. Orange for Alec. 
Cole Komet, rookie silver. Gardner Minshew. Jake Luton. James Proche. We kind of got a couple rookie oranges here. And a rookie silver for Nick and the Bears, Cole Komet. It's Cooper Cup. Tua Emergent insert. Minka Fitzpatrick. And the last bit, Geno Atkins, Bruce Smith, Aaron Rodgers, and an orange Tua Tungle by Loa. What a way to finish this break. Matt Lieber with the Miami Dolphins. At the very, 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 very end. And you get the emergent insert too, which is now not as important. These, these don't sell as well as this one. So there you have it. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Quick little recap here in full case, blaster break number, uh, pick your team five, 2020 Prism Football, blaster edition. There you go. There's the orange Joe Burrow we were talking about. And we have that orange Tua as well. We've got an orange Jalen Hurts too. That was pretty nice. Chase Young, a base Tua, Justin Herbert, and Jalen Hurts relic. And plus a bunch of other rookie parallels right there too. Silvers and oranges and whatnot. All sorts of great stuff. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for chatting football with us during the break. We appreciate it. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.